Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. Visa is moving forward with its crypto plans. And Brian Armstrong and Coinbase is standing with crypto. That's today in Web3. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to start this just like I start it every week. Please do me a favor. Subscribe, like, and click the bell icon if you're on YouTube. And if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, click them five stars. Leave us a comment and do me an extra favor. If you're in any groups, Facebook groups, Telegram groups, share this podcast in there. Share the YouTube channel in there so people can find daily Web3 and crypto news to get a summary to start their day so we can continue to build our knowledge until the new bull. And if you want to send me an email, you can reach out to me at bookings at todayinweb3.com. Now let's get into today's headlines. Visa is looking to add backend developers to its crypto team, particularly those savvy with public blockchains and stable coins. Visa's vice president and head of crypto said this in a tweet. We have an ambitious crypto product roadmap and just opened new jobs for software engineers to help us drive mainstream adoption of public blockchain networks and stablecoin payments. Visa is looking for people that can develop AI assistance using the GitHub Copilot, as well as people who can debug smart contracts. They're looking for people who are passionate with Web3 technologies, including the new ERC4337 standard. What is the ERC4337 standard? Well, it allows you to bundle and automate transactions on Ethereum. It allows for social recovery of crypto wallets, biometric authentication of transactions, and the ability to store a wallet's private keys on a smartphone's security module. The features also made possible by the ERC4337 standard are also available on Ethereum virtual machine compatible blockchains. And the standard adds new features to Ethereum without the need for a major Ethereum blockchain protocol update. Coinbase's CEO, Brian Armstrong, backs the Stand With Crypto NFT campaign. And he's urging the crypto community to unite in their efforts to have the government and regulators establish clear rules for the industry. And this stand with crypto NFT is a symbol of unity for the crypto community seeking sensible crypto policy. This blue shield not only shows your support for the crypto cause, but also that you're part of a growing community who believes in the future of crypto. This is a purely commemorative NFT with an open mint and has no intended utility or value, which knowing the crypto industry somebody's going to find a way to trade this NFT. I'll, I'll put money on that. If you agree, send me an email, bookings at todayandweb3.com. Coinbase added to the sentiment of their CEO by tweeting, all proceeds associated with the Stanford Crypto NFT collection on at our Zora will be donated to vetting organizations through a crypto advocacy round with Gitcoin. This move for Brian Armstrong to mint this NFT to stand with crypto came after Coinbase filed a lawsuit against the SEC, seeking to compel the SEC to publicly answer a nearly year-old petition, basically saying, can we have some clarity on some crypto regulations, please? Terra Luna's co-founder Daniel Shin and I and other people are formally charged by South Korea. The 10 people are charged with causing astronomical damage for investors while taking $347 million worth of profit. Korean authorities are actively tracking these profits and have frozen about half of that $347 million so far. The South Korean court in December rejected a request to arrest him, saying that he wasn't likely to destroy evidence or pose a flight risk. He will remain free for now, pending trial. Ben Armstrong, aka BitBoy, he has no chill. And he tweeted this, Guys, I miss court, but still ran into Adam Moskowitz and we made up. Photos of me and Adam, sponsored by Stake.com. And for those listening on the podcast, it's a picture of him and a pig in the Bahamas. Well, long story short, this is not the first time that Ben took a shot at the lawyer that's trying to sue him and other influencers for $5 billion. The lawyer, Adam Moskowitz, has been saying that Ben has been harassing him via texts, phone calls, and emails. A judge told Ben to be careful. Now, Dave Ramsey on his show yesterday shared my opinion of this. I think this is just ambulance chasing by a lawyer. And he's trying to put the squeeze on these influencers so they don't have to go through all this court and they just pay out some kind of payment so he gets money, the lawyer, and somebody who's part of this uh, class action lawsuit. I think it's ambulance chasing, but we'll see how the court thinks of this. Now, let's get into those crypto prices. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. And the time is 9.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And before we start, we have to mention Kathy Woods, who's again BTFDing and buying more Coinbase stock. How much, you might ask? Well, she's buying $8.6 million. And this is in the wake of Coinbase suing the SEC. 
let's take a look at that crypto top 10. Bitcoin sitting at $27,378, down a percent in 24. Ethereum's at $1,824, down 2.3 percent in 24. Tether's number three, Binance is at 330, down 0.7 percent. And USDC is number five. Rounding off the top 10, we have XRP, Cardano, Doge, Matic, and Solana. Every coin on this list is down in double digits from 10 to 17, 18%. Matic's down 18% in seven. The only coin that is not down double digits is Binance. It's down 4.1% in seven. The total market cap is still sitting at 1.15 trillion. We have a BTC dominance of 46% and an ETH dominance of 19.1. And that was our show today. It was a short one, but I'm very happy you stopped by to listen. And until tomorrow, happy hodling, everyone. Hey everyone, the bull run is coming. It's coming quick. And you need to be up to date on everything that's happening in the Web3 space. So please follow us on Twitter and like, subscribe, share these videos so we can keep you up to date daily on Web3 News.